Hello and welcome to Bronzy Liquid Finish video. My name is Diane Kincaid and today I want to share with you an exciting new art medium that just hit the market. Bronzy Liquid Finish. It is a rock hard, weather resistant art medium that dries to illustrious patina. It gives extra texture and detail to all creative projects. It was created by an artist that understands it's all about the finish. So you can use it on ceramics, on air dry clay, over textile and fabric art. You can use it to jazz up gourd art, wooden leather, and use it as a painting medium on canvas. But the cool thing that I love about bronzy liquid finish is I love blending it with artsy liquid sealer. It gives a beautiful bronze luminescent tone that only usually casting bronze can give you, but now you can get it without the expense. Bronzy liquid finish comes in nine different colors. It is a fast drying medium. It cleans up easily with soap and water. It is non-toxic and it is water based and it's made in the USA. So today we want to get you started using bronzy with confidence. So I'd like to share with you how to use bronzy liquid finish effectively. There's so many different ways that you can use it, but I prefer a dry brush technique. The dry brush technique is by starting off with bronzy, of course, but shaking it. Shake it very well, just as you do artsy liquid sealer. However, the difference is you are not going to add water to bronzy liquid finish. So I'm going to pour a small amount into my container and it's very small you don't need much of bronzy at all and for my dry brush technique is what it is it is a dry brush technique I'm going to be painting artsy or bronzy liquid finish excuse me onto this black hummingbird that has Artsy Liquid Sealer on it. I'm gonna jazz it up and give it some detail and wonderful texture. I'm gonna put it aside for a second just so I can show you a little bit more effectively what a dry brush technique is. A dry brush technique is a technique using a flat brush or any type of brush, but I prefer a flat brush. And by dipping the bronzy liquid finish in, you wanna apply it and load it up on a little bit on paper. And then you want to wipe off the excess. So when you apply it to your art project, you're only getting a small amount of bronzy liquid sealer on your project. Don't worry, some of it is going to dry. I put a lot on there. You don't need to put that much on a piece of paper. But when you do a dry brush technique on your project, you actually want to start at the edges and come in. really getting the edges effective with the finish is going to give it beautiful texture. I always start at my edges first. It's not hard, it's really fun. Sometimes I use too much and I have to wipe it off. Oh well. I'll just dab a little bit more in, put it on my paper, and then take off the excess. And again, just bring it into the edges you can kind of see my project come alive, right? I can. I love bronze. And I love different color of bronzes. I love different color patinas. They're so fun. You can do so much with them. I love putting a lot of texture in my ceramics and in my sculptings as well because I love to show off that texture. I just put a nice big piece of texture right there on that wing. Did you see that? Okay, so I'm just going to pick up my hummingbird and again I'm going to go out to the edges and work in so I actually can get product on that edge and then I can start dry brushing and doing a little feathering and really bring out and build out all the texture that my air dry clay gave me. So my, dry, my brush is really dry right now and I love that because it gives a just a beautiful scattering of shimmer of like real bronze. Now this hummingbird I'm going to be adding bronzy liquid finish and turquoise because as we know most hummingbirds have some turquoise 
even some lime and even some purple and red and all those wonderful jewel tone colors. But I'm still going to keep on with my dry brush technique. And I'm going to focus more on the wing area. So I'm just going to use a little bit of a flatter brush. And my brush is going to be just a little bit drier. I don't want to load it up too much. And I'm just going to take it and lightly, and if you do put too much on, take it and wipe it off. So I'm just kind of dry brushing, trying to feel my texture and giving it a really nice hint of my turquoise. I'm using my other hand. It is a water-based, non-toxic sealer, which is wonderful. I can get pretty creative. So I'm doing a little bit different with this hummingbird than I did with the smaller hummingbird that I used the bronze on. A little bit more on. I'm going to be a little bit more generous with those edges. I'm going to leave my black tips the wing edges, and then just nicely glaze down. You can probably see the color building up and the texture. Just a little more patience. I mean, if you do use too much product, wipe it off. It is water-based, but get it before it dries, right? Thanks so much for watching. Head over to artsyliquidsealer.com to buy now.